working. It's been quite a long time since the last episode of DIY Drummer CNC, so here I am with the final test of my machine. As you saw at the beginning of this video, my machine can pretty well engrave, at least I think so, but it wasn't that good right from the beginning, because the first engraving came out like this, and you know, it's, it's terrible, it's really terrible, and it was like this because there was no enough bearings in here and also the drum mount wasn't well designed. So I had to put more bearings in the machine and also redesign the Dremel mount so that I can engrave better. And the second engraving came out a little bit better but still wasn't perfect. So I designed another Dremel mount and this time I think it came out almost perfect. The sad news to all of you that already started building my machine is that you probably have to print again the Dremel mount because as I said the first version is terrible and right now the third one is actually pretty good. If you didn't start building my machine but you want to do so, you can check out the link to the other videos in the description, there is also a link to the playlist with all of my videos related to the Dremel CNC. So in a minute we will start milling but firstly we have to put wasteboard on my machine. Because I want to mill all the way through the material I will put an MDF wasteboard on the table of my machine and stick it with double sided tape. I know it's not a good idea and I should use screws but as for the test it should be fine. You may be curious why I used MDF as a wasteboard and not just the plywood that I already have. Well actually MDF is pretty cheap and compared to plywood it's a lot cheaper and that's a wasteboard. You will replace it pretty often so it's good to keep things cheap. I will also mill the first test in MDF because I actually bought a lot of it so it's also cheap and cheap is the most important consideration in this project. I wouldn't go in details with Fusion 360 this time I will just show you how this machine can mill, what it can mill and how fast it can mill because that's very important. I will fix this plate to this wasteboard with some screws and then start milling so let's do this. There will be a lot of mess, so make sure to have vacuum cleaner next to you. Remember about safety glasses, because as we all know, safety is number one priority. How about the result because I am extremely happy with it. The edge didn't look that good when milling but a little bit of sanding and it is perfect. I'm really impressed I didn't expect this machine to work that good. And about the feed rate I started with 300 millimeters per minute and I go all the way up to 600 millimeters per minute and I keep my Dremel on quite low RPMs like between 4 and 6 on its scale. MDF is a really good material to start milling because it is soft so you can machine it pretty easily but there is a lot of dust so you really need a vacuum cleaner to clean all of this up. There is dust everywhere right now 
and I had to clean all of this up and I'm not really happy about it. I would like to mill more stuff with MDF right now, but my neighbors wouldn't be so happy about this idea, so let's move on to the another material. And right now we'll try plexiglass or acrylic or however you would call it on my DIY Dremel CNC. A lot of you may be interested in what type of beads do I use on my Dremel CNC machine. To mill in wood, I use these beads. They are very very cheap, 4 foot beads that you can easily mount to a Dremel. But for acrylic or plexiglass, you need something different. And also for aluminum, you need something different. So here it is, a single flute that makes it much easier to mill aluminum or plexiglass. Because those two materials are quite easy to melt. So it is much easier to break those bits with plexiglass or aluminum than this one. It is also a little bit more expensive than those one. I will link both of them in the description. Here is a piece of acrylic that I am going to mill in. It's not super good and I wouldn't use it for a project because it is really scratched, but for a test it should be okay. The thickness of it is 3mm. I don't have any specific idea on what to mill, so I am just going to mill a simple gear. And that should be a really good test to see if it actually can mill acrylic. I am extremely impressed. I even don't know what to say. I didn't expect at all that this machine will cut acrylic. And it was so easy for it. Like it took 6 minutes to cut this gear and it is perfect. All of the edges, I checked that and it is incredible how perfect this gear is. I'm, I'm really surprised. But you may ask, how about the dimensions? Are they okay? So here I have something for you. Here is the dimension of the of this thing that I just cut in MDF. And here is what the dimension should be in Fusion 360. I'm really impressed. I was afraid that this acrylic will melt and that I will maybe even destroy my machine, but it was so easy and it's just, it's amazing, it's really amazing. A CNC machine for 300 bucks that can cut wood and acrylic and maybe even more but that's the topic for another video. That's really amazing. I'm, I'm so happy that I did it. Right now I will clean all of that and stop bothering my neighbors with this loud sound before they will call the police because CNC machine, not only this, every CNC machine it's very loud, so you should keep that in mind when building one or buying one. And using that at home, it makes a lot of mess. So without the vacuum cleaner, it's almost impossible to use it at home. And even with vacuum cleaner, there is a lot of mess everywhere around, so keep that in mind. That's why you need a waste board on your CNC machine. As you can see, we milled a little bit of it. Because when you want to mill all the way through the material, you need to have something on the table of your CNC machine that is cheap and easy to replace. And here we are again, right next to the place where I shot the very first episode of DIY Dremel CNC about 3 months ago. And here we are to sum up this project. I know it took me a lot of time to finish it, but that's because of holidays and all the troubles that I faced during this build. But finally it's ready and it is just perfect. Much better than I expected. It's, it's really perfect and I'm happy that it is working as it is working now. Thanks to all the people that sent me images and photos of my project that they are building 
I'm really happy and that's really encouraging to create new projects. Also thanks to all of the new subscribers because there is quite a lot of you. Thanks for subscribing and if you are not a subscriber yet, please consider subscribing. Thanks for all the comments, likes and watch. That's really encouraging to create new stuff in the future. If you want to build my project, go check out my other videos about DIY Dremel CNC and my other videos. There is also a playlist with all of the DIY Dremel CNC episodes. If you want to know what parts did I use, go check out all of the links in the description. There are also links to STL files. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed building the DIY Dremel CNC as I did. But that's not the end of this project. I still have some ideas on how to improve it and I still have to test it with aluminum. I know I can destroy this machine that way, but I just have to test if this machine can cut aluminum. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, happy making! Bye!